hello guys and welcome back so as you know that in our previous lectures we have completed the player controller and the camera controller now from this video onwards we will start working on our shooting so for that first of all right here in the scripts folder let's go ahead and create a new folder by the name of shooting and in here we will create a new C sharp script by the name of shooting controller okay make sure that you spell that correctly and then just simply save the script then click on player and let's go ahead and apply the script to our first rifle okay we will be applying the script to our other one but let's just complete the script and then we will add that to each of our rifle okay so once you create this now let's go ahead and open this up and in here what we're gonna do is first of all we will create some variables so the first one will be a transform and that transform will be the point from where the bullet are fired okay so let's go ahead and say public transform let's name this as fire point okay from this fire point as i told you this is the point where the bullet will be fired from okay then after this we will say public float and this will be by the name of fire rate and this fire rate will be the time between consecutive shots okay so this will be by default equals to 0 0.1 for now okay this can be changed according to the rifles okay now after this we will create a public float again by the name of fire range and as you know that this will be the range of the rifle bullet okay by default let's say 10 okay then after this we will create a private float this will be by the name of next time or actually let's say next fire time okay and this will be by default equals to zero okay and this will be the time of the next allowed shot now right down below what we're gonna do we will say private board shoot and now inside the shoot method now we will do some shooting so first of all as you know that we will be shooting using a raycast okay and let me tell you how the raycast shooting will work so for example as i told you this fire point will be the point from where we will be shooting okay so consider this as the main camera okay so consider this as our main camera which is uh, set behind or you can say set between the player hands okay so from this main camera in the forward direction we will cast a ray okay and this ray will be limit by the fire range okay so for example if the fire range is 10 then this will go to the 10 range okay and inside that range if this ray hits a zombie for example okay if it hits the zombie then we will know that yes the ray hits the zombie so what we can do then is to apply damage to this zombie okay in this way the shooting using ray cast will work okay so first of all what we're gonna do we will create a ray cast hit and let's name this as hit inside this hit we will store the information of whatever the ray hits okay then let's create a ray so we will say physics dot ray cast okay and as i told you we will be casting a ray from the fire point and the fire point will be our main camera so we will say fire point dot position then as i told you we will be casting a ray in the forward direction okay 
so we will say firepoint dot forward okay and then whatever that ray hit will be stored inside the hit and then we want to remit this ray by the fire range okay so at the end we will pass fire range okay so now we will say if the ray cast is happening then what we want to do we want to show the name of whatever the ray hits so we will say hit dot transform not transform transform t r a n s f o r m okay transform dot name okay so it will simply show the name right down below we will apply damage to the zombie okay but that will be in our upcoming videos okay for now we just want to show whatever the ray hits okay we want to show its name that object name all right now right here at the top let's create an update method let me remove these comments okay and inside the update what we're gonna do we will say that if the mouse left button is pressed or in unity the left button of the mouse is set to fire one okay so we will say if input dot get button okay and the button is fire one then we will fire but we also want to check if the time dot time is greater than or equals to the next fire time okay and then if this is the case then what we want to do we want to shoot okay so we will call the shoot method right here but at the top we will also set the next fire time to time dot time plus one and multiply that by the sorry divide that by the fire rate okay so whenever the whenever we fire then our next time fire next fire time will increase okay so now we can save the script and get back to unity now as you can see here is our everything okay and also what i want you to do guys is actually select all of these uh, rifles and right click click on prefab then click on unpack completely okay because we don't want the prefabs of these things that is it okay so now as you can see everything is set up but we need to provide the fire point and as I told you the fire point will be the main camera okay so just simply add that click on console let's play the game okay so now whenever we for example press the fire one button as you can see we are hitting that plant bed bench as you can see okay we are hitting it but for now the fire rate is a little bit slow so it is firing really slowly okay so what we can do is we can increase the fire rate of this rifle okay so let me stop the game and right here let me change the fire rate of this rifle to 10 okay and let's change the range of it to 25 okay because as i told you these values will be different for each of our rifle okay so you can also set these values to your own rifle then once again play the game again and now if we try to fire as you can see whenever we press the fire button it is firing okay as you can see okay so whatever we hit it shows the name of that object okay now we have some basic shooting as you can see okay and now in the next video we will keep working on our shooting controller